We're off to Bowser's kingdom at long last. We are finally here. The race for this place isn't that hard. It's basically a, a beeline back to the start here. But the rock is all the way up there in the middle point of the map. Luckily, we can warp right there. I think it's... Yeah, it's right here. We can warp right to it. So we can get some of those extra moons, of course. I was gonna get on top of it, but oh well. There we go. Oddly enough, this is like one of the one weird kingdom that's got like a ton of moons, which is, to be fair, odd. <laughs> because there's not very much real estate around here. So let's go after some of the other moons. There is an art moon here, and it's with Poochie in the sand kingdom over on the edge. We'll figure that later. Well, that's a moon I probably won't help come back towards. That's that's going backwards. We don't go backwards anymore. We go forwards. But yeah, when you get the um, post-game moons, these open up. So you can actually get back here and do these two pipes here. On either side. Hey, Mr. Nice Guy in Twitch chat. Can't say too long, but want to say hi? Yeah, it's always a pleasure. It's always good to see you here, Mr. Nice Guy. I gotta figure out this room here. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. We might be here for a while, folks. This is like a huge maze. I wouldn't say it's not a bad way to grind for coins. Oh, it's one of these. It's one of these shard rooms. Moon shards. Oh boy. This is, uh, no, uh, Mr. Nice Guy on Twitch says this is my first playthrough. No, this is a revisit. Uh, the re uh, revisiting from my uh, YouTube days, and I'm dead. <laughs> do, 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 do. Well, at least I keep the moon shard. Ow! I need you. There we go. We should have actually capture this guy first. Yeah, we have to use the uh, dry bones to get around this area. Because we don't get to use this guy very often. So, you know what? It's always good to try him out. We can fly wherever we need to. There is a couple of moons in this place. I just gotta make sure where the other one is. It's, it's within an area we haven't seen yet, so... Do, 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 do. Oh goodness! That rock is gonna hit me. I know it. I know it will. Ooh, what? Oh, I'm pretty sure it's right there, isn't it? The key right there, and there's the other moon. Huzzah! Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. We found both of them. Nice. I thought I was gonna be here for a while. It looks like it looks. It does an area that looks like a little bit of a small pachinko machine, almost in a way. Just a more like a 3D variant, which is interesting to boot. And there's also another one like this on the opposite side of the of Bowser's castle. We'll go after that one too, because Princess Peach is uh, where she's at. Well, she's at the um, she's at the shop of this place. Let's fly all the way back round. Yeah, there's another pipe over yonder. Fly back down this way. Ow. Go. As for those uh, new watching, uh, after, uh, <laughs> I don't know watching the YouTube after the fact, but as for Twitch viewers now, um, uh, this was a, this is a, my playthrough of the revisit of this place, of my initial run of this from the YouTube live days. Been wanting to redo this, uh, playthrough for a while, as it is a, as the original one was played with, uh, <coughs> with play with audio hiccups and everything, and I feel like now I'm more never ready to, 
to revisit this and to redo it for better. <laughs> Alright, so we need to cover this tower. That's not suspicious. Whew. Huzzah! There's a there's our hidden moon. Huzzah! Poking the wooden tower. Can I jump out the pipe? No. Huzzah! Huzzah! La 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 la! So now I have to make up the to top of this tower here. Make this thing move us around like so. There we go. Why would I go after those coins if I can get on the top of the platform and call it and have some fun that way? Alright, now we gotta climb this tower for real, huh? Just shake the controller and you can actually get some, you get more distance that way. It's sort of like a high jump with this little bird character. Is that supposed to be something in there? I don't think so. This way! Up higher! There's our moon! Huzzah! Moon get! Climbing that wooden tower, Mario! <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can find... Let's see if we can find the race. Which should be right here on top. Now the race at this point is a straight on downward run. Mm, excuse me. Got water down the wrong pipe there. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. <coughs> we're in the roaming races, but we're coughing in this air and the smoked air here, but I don't know. Whatever. Let's go. Let's get a prize if you win. The rules are simple. Race the goal and get there first. <clears throat> There's a beacon right at the end. So this race can be a very energetic. As it's all the way down there. It's probably one of the longest races in the game. You just gotta be careful with where your place of Mario is. Drop like that so you can avoid Mario's down animation. But the, this race is... I would say, wouldn't say it's hard. It's just that, uh, you know... It can be kind of a little long, actually. Just keep the just just keep the pace up, and you should be good to go on this raid. Like the first part of the area is a little is lot is easy. It's just when you get to these uh, lower parts where the platform is a little trickier than normal. Hmm. Beacon's right over there. A bomb right there, that's annoying. There we go. But also, this is more difficult because you know, all the hazards are also in the way, so bear that in mind. Even the golem is back, so you won't want to watch out for him. Oh boy. Also, the fact that if you do one mess up anywhere, you most likely fall to your death, and unfortunately, that's not good either. Oh yeah! Go! All right, the final stretch. I can see how long this is. It's over a, almost two minutes long in length. Is that, that's, the, that's just for fast. And I'm pretty sure there's a lot of ways you can break this level in half. <laughs> in racing wise, so. Blazing fast! Here you go! Power Moon for you! Bowser's Kingdom's regular cup. Alright, let's do the last one. Or the last one of this race. Of here, we got the we got the Master Cup for Bowser's Kingdom. Let's do this! <clears throat> dun, 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 dun. Like if you just keep up the pace in the long jumps like you did last time, the new racers shouldn't give you all that much trouble. 
I guess I shouldn't. Hoorah! Yeah, so he's gonna take a shortcut here. Which I'm gonna take the same way as well. Ha ha ha! Take that, Golden Koopa! Just keep diving, just, you know, if you. Oh, didn't wanna do that. He's gonna roll to victory, it looks like. That's not good either. Go, 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 go! We, oh man, we're so close. This is the only way we're gonna catch up to this. Cut him off here. Ooh, baby. Alright, now we should be good and clear. As long as we don't mess up on any of the jump, the rest of the jumps later, we should be good to go on this race. It's just that the Golden Koopa takes that really big shortcut right at the start. Ooh, boy. Da, 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 da. Go Mario, go! <laughs> Run to victory! Huzzah! There we go. Now we just gotta make it past the Goombas and we are golden! Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da. How oddly enough that the, really the race that's the only one giving us trouble was the Seaside Kingdom. <laughs> I'm just saying that now. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. Booyah! That was some fast racing there. Good job, buddy. Bowser's Kingdom Master Cup at long last. And I did see a power moon over there. But how does one get over there? That's the question. That's a good question of the day, isn't it? Well, maybe if I capture a Lakitu, maybe we can find one. Where's a Lakitu? I know there's one around here. There he is. Time to go fishing? Yeah, he's gonna fish in the poison. How odd. <laughs> uh, you know, poison water wouldn't be the first place to fish Lakitu, but, you know, I digress. <laughs> but there is a fish we can find here that we will want to procure, and I believe he's right here. So we just do like this. Come on, Mr. Fish. Come on. This one's a little bit harder to see. Come on, reel in, reel in, reel in, reel in. But Poochie! Poochie! You're swimming the po you're swimming the poison! Fishing? Question mark? <laughs> Bowser's castle? <laughs> uh, let's see if we can get over here. We just have to ride Lakitu's cloud over to this spot here, then we can hit this uh, little slingshot, and that'll get us to a moon over yonder. I do like Bowser's Kingdom as a new gimmick, though, to be honest. I think it looks pretty cool, actually. But again, it's I think it's too simple for my liking, though. I like the aesthetic, but I wish it was a little bit more, shall we say, expansive. Like, it feels like... Not to say I want to hate it, say it's generic or anything, but it just seems to be a little too safe. Well, there's a moon for you. <laughs> that picture was tacky. There we go. Knock it down to the nice frame. <laughs> there's another moon up here. Yeah, where are we going now? We already captured those guys. There's no moons there. But I believe there's one here. Go, Cappy! Yeah! Moon got... Huzzah! Caught in the giant horn, baby! Huzzah! Well, I think with that, the other moons are just a little bit more, uh... Oh, actually, no, we need to go see Peach. We haven't seen Peach yet. She's over here at the souvenir shop. And Peach is here in her Komodo. What well, I think is pretty cool. I think it fits her. Oh, she has a boo as a mask, which is really nice. Badger's Castle. I think this is the first time I ever come here on my own two feet. 
Whatever it's history, the castle is simply splendid. And a power moon just fell from the sky. You should probably take it. Bowser's probably going to make it <laughs> use it for evil. You know, you're probably like too. Most likely. I think I've been to every place in the world. Oh, but I forgot the places beyond the world. Well, I guess so. I guess so. Is that what that means? She's going to the moon kingdom. We're head off that way now, too, I think. Look out here. Why take the long path? We can take the short path. Actually, no. I think there's actually a moon if we head this way. Might as well hit it on the way down. Dun, 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 Oh yeah, there we go. You have to think of third court outskirts. You have to use the the discharge ability with the electricity to actually get it. So that's actually kind of cool. That's something you don't think you have to use very often. Is the discharge feature of the of the electrical? Because it's not really you. It's not really needed anywhere. It doesn't kill anything. It's just like oh, you can jump off the electricity a little bit. Dun, 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 dun. All right, Cappy, we're off. To the Moon Kingdom we go! We're at the end, folks! We're here at the end! The Moon Kingdom is now now accessible for us. We're going. We're going places. To the Moon! At long last! Let's go, Cappy! To the Moon we go! For the last set of moons we're going to find, the races and Princess Peach.